Opportunity should never be a function of your zip code. Opportunity should never be a function of the color of your skin or the religion that you worship or the person that you love or your gender. Opportunity should be available to everyone. Everyone in that room wants us to be the country that, that lives our values of this land of opportunity uh, where everyone gets a shot if they, if they work hard. That's what unites everyone here, that we want to restore access to the American dream. Washington and Congress does not have all the ideas we need. You do. This is going to be a movement that's going to evidence the truth of this town, which is great change does not come from Washington, it comes to Washington. We've got leaders from all over the country here coming together around youth employment, so it's really exciting. And that job is what gives you purpose, it's what gives you dignity, it gives you the opportunity for a better life. All across the country, rural, uh, urban, uh, businesses, nonprofits, uh, just such an incredible reach and that are having this national conversation together. Don't pass the torch, continue to light our flame so we can be a brighter flame together and be that hope. Youth employment prepares us for our careers later. This has to be about jobs, it has to be about pathways to opportunities for young people and opening up economic opportunities. It's important because it's very much an economic driver for the United States. It's something that helps us keep our competitive edge. So we need to make sure that we're partnering with businesses so that we can fill the positions that are there. Young people, they need, they need opportunity, they need hope, they need skills, they need jobs. Business leaders are finding it increasingly challenging to find the right talent and keep the skills of existing employees up to date. We have so many different positions from purchasing, to shipping, to engineering, to drafting. I'm actually here because I believe small businesses and mid-sized businesses need to be as engaged as large businesses are in creating the talent pipeline for tomorrow's future. For my business, I need employees. Young people have much more technology knowledge and, and have less fear about using technology. Companies are now coming to us. And we're not asking them for money, we're asking them for jobs, internships, apprenticeships, etc. So we're here to help make that connection. It's phenomenal. The energy level here is ridiculous. I've been really surprised by the number of young adults who have been able to find their way here. I have two incredible opportunity leaders with me on stage here and who have had the bravery to actively participate and to share their stories. We got this. That's right. Yesterday, they went to Capitol Hill. They had about 80 different meetings with, with, with different members. We're able to see people all around this country talking with their elected officials about opportunity. The synergies here are amazing, and it just helps you to feel hopeful. I wanted that job, and I got it. That was three years and two promotions ago. His future is going to be different. The future of his children will be different as a result of a program like this. We need to nurture and grow programs that allow people to meet their fullest potential. You know, I always tell people that Opportunity Nation summits are like family reunions where you actually want to see everyone that attends. This was the biggest assimilation of experts and things that were, uh, that I could ever uh, be a part of. It gives you that internal buzz. I mean, you're excited to be around the energy. It stimulates you, gives you new ideas. Cory Booker said that this is the best thing happening in Washington right now, and it's really driving a better politics. Democrats, Republicans, independents all supporting it. We know in America, we know who we are. You look at the speakers that are at this conference, the right people are coming. Now the word is out. Thank you for leading in this important area. We are honored to participate. I come here because I cannot think of any better way to get inspired about opening the door of opportunity very wide.
what we want to do today is to call on every community and have all of you be ambassadors to go back and bring that call to action so that every community who see brighter and brighter futures, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this, right? We got this. We really got this.